Now you can just harvest it by doing this, holding F, and you'll collect it. I prefer to do it much more dismantly way. First harvest is successful and promises a perpetual source of sustenance. I still get the 10 experience. This is way faster if you do it that way. Alright, and I have a lot of tomatoes now, so... I cook in here. This place have a cooking thing. So I can just make that, but unfortunately, you, while I can track it, it's not that useful. I would like it if you just click on this and it drops the things right away, instead of have to click this three times. Uh, these extra slots are for other ingredients, such as bone or whatever. So we're just going to cook this and get five extra hit points. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean that I can... Unfortunately, it does not mean that I can add three more tomatoes and get five more hit points. That would be amazing. Delicious steaming soup made of overgrown and ripe tomato pulps. Okay. These measures will suffice for now. Let's see here. I need iron if I want to upgrade the crowbar some more. Actually, before I do that. What do I need for the hoe? Can do it right now? Good. Let's see here. Ten percent throwable weapon damage. Sure. Plus one material carry slot. That's good, it just uses up a lot of my um, rubber, which I don't want to do right now. This is pretty easy to make, so we'll go ahead and do that. This crafted item is a trinket. It has special effects when equipped to a trinket slot. To craft more trinkets to open more slots. A fresh reserve of blood to keep hemoglobin levels stable. So now I have 30 hit points. When I, when I sat down for the night, I had 20 hit points. Or, yeah. Before, before I ate the tomato, I had 20 hit points. I'd still need to go fishing for some more experience. Let's go ahead and till the earth. Okay, the faster I get gatherer, the sooner I can actually start gathering items. I like, I really like that it tells you the total effect. That's, that's very nice. So, we're going to get gatherer 2, and then I'll have an extra 25%, and then all the way up to like gather for whatever it is. So, the way this is set up is you can only host certain grounds, which is why this is my farming area rather than like the beginning of the game. Um, so you can see like this is only this is the only tillable earth and it's always set in square so so it's always gonna be there no matter where I'm moving doesn't matter too much it's all my my farm if you if you farm completely the area around the campfire your farm will be exactly the same as my farm uh, your orientation does not seem to change how it's set up so these are just farms that were planted in the first place so it will not look similar to the ones you're making. Okay, I've used up all my plant material. Let's go ahead and start planting the tomato seeds. I can plant 13 of them. And this is a very time consuming part. <laughs> so, don't be too surprised in the future when I just have lots of food. I'm just taking out the farming aspect of it. I may leave the first of any crop or something. Like, this is the this will be like the second tomato crop. But you'll find things like corn and wheat. I have a perfect amount of tomatoes. I'll come back after 10 minutes have passed and... See here. Let's go ahead and head over here and get some fishing done. It's not a particularly good fishing spot, but it is a 
I don't necessarily want to take down the fence in this area because this is where I'm going to be working. It'll help keep the zombies from walking in or whatever. While they don't normally randomly walk in, there will be times where deers walk, deer, deer just move past you and and and, ho <laughs> and attract zombies to you. It, it's annoying. Let's kind of clear out the area first. So this is an actual fishing spot. I'm gonna wait to use it. Um, can I will it mark it? I don't think it will mark it. I would we'll just have to remember that it's a fishing spot. The reason why I say I want to wait to use it is because there is a fishing thing to enhance your loot, and these things do not respawn. So, and it's random what you get. So you can end up getting like not very good loot. Now, the, but that being said, the loot is just fish, but the fish come in different levels. And in my first playthrough, even though I used all the fishing spots, I was not able to make all. <laughs> I was not able to do all the fishing upgrades and cooks and stuff because I just couldn't get enough fish and I I used all the fishing spots. So the way the game does it is I don't actually have to click anything. He automatically pulls up the fish. Uh, there are perks to level up your fishing rewards and there are trinkets to level up your fishing speed. At least this is actually agonizingly slow to me. But when I first started doing this, I Every time the, the water dipped, I would left click and my character would get the fish and then stand up. And I hit and then I left click again to sit down and fish some more. You don't have to do that. Just left click and thankfully your dude auto fishes. Nothing. I seem to have caught all the fish in this spot. Is it over here too? I'm wondering how big that supposed spot is. Okay, maybe it's... Oh, no, oh, nothing. Fish don't seem to bite here. Better move on. Yeah, I'm not keep. I'm not gonna keep going closer. I'll just fall into my doom. Okay, so was that the quest, or do I need... Oh, I need one more fish. Again, I want to save the good fishing spot. Ah, uh, man, that's a pretty big area for me not to be able to fish in. Oh, I bet it's this whole zone. That's probably what it is, this whole zone. Let's try. So all right now I'm still in the same zone, so we'll try fishing. It should reject me if my if my conjecture is correct. Okay, now we're gonna go up just a little bit to the new area. Then we'll try. This is like hardly move north, just but I'm in the next area over. Yeah? Fishing seems like a second nature to you. So now I need to, so now I need to get enough metal to upgrade my machete. With the crowbar, I should be able to more easily get metal. I was really hoping that on my second playthrough, I could pretty much skip all the crowbar upgrades. Nothing. Maybe the fish have run away with their fish feet. Okay. So I've fished these two spots out. So maybe when I'm not recording, I will like cover the entire ocean or whatever you call it. See, this is Zombie Town. Um. Guess we could hit the maximum gas station for metal. There might be some metal there. Uh. 
See, this is why I generally try to close the door. The hay bales just give you plant material. For now, maybe in the future they'll give you hay and you can feed a horse or something, I don't know. They don't magically detect you just because you're right behind them. That's annoying in some games. in place. We still have an abundance of food and supplies, but we need to conserve our strength for later. This is an automated recording sent from 23, the town station. I feel like that will drop something more interesting in the future. There's plenty of ways to get metal without having to rob future me, I suppose. Not home. <laughs> when you could equip the Berserker item and do damage to objects, not just monsters with it. You could break those barricades to get stone. No trespassing, this area is guarded. Backpack full of plant material. But again, it'll be useful for making sure I never run out of food. Your character, thankfully, does not need to eat. Like in, this, in, in many survival games, your character is just has is a perpetual bottomless pit of hunger. Raising a Tamagotchi or something. You know, always having to, like, feed me every few seconds. Now, because I can't destroy this with a bladed weapon, I can actually use the machete to safely attack nearby things, such as this vine. So, I, I probably, I don't imagine I will show this dismantling part of the game uh, too often. But, I mean, it is an essential part of the game to do and to understand that this is what you're getting into when, if you were to get this game. Now, collecting will come will become easier as you level up, because you will be able to, for example, store double the amount of gray material, the commons. Okay, 
That's almost everything. Then destroy that, then destroy these. And with this last, this should be the last run to clear out the gas station of materials that I can currently harvest, that is. In the future, you'll want to come back and like break all break all the stuff that I missed the first time. Like for example, these toilets, great for or these the bathrooms are great for ceramics. I'm just not strong enough to break them yet. All right, let's head back to the farm now. Now that we've looted the gas station. Again, you don't have to worry about watching me harvest an entire forest. I just, I'm just clearing the path. I like a nice clear path. Day three morning. I feel like I didn't get as much done this day. But I mean, I, I definitely needed the resources. that deer. If the fence wasn't there, he might have screwed me over by luring more zombies to me. Anything good? This is this we can build that. We can do the fast travel now. That's worth the iron. That's all my iron though. Enables fast traveling from one activated link tower to another. Oh yeah, I, I'm gonna, now now I need more iron. Because of all my plant matter, I could have upgraded my backpack. Help if I wasn't gonna try to tackle with seeds. I was just hoping that I was. I actually want to leave this building in peace. I, I just want to kill the vines. I don't want to actually break anything else. The vines on the outside make it look nice. Now, I have attacked with a shovel before, but I don't know how to consistently do it. I think maybe you have to lock on a target or something. Because I'm going to be spending a lot of time at this farm um, planting tomatoes and junk like that. Would like some eye candy. You can actually destroy the walls, too. So I'm not kidding when I say you can turn the world into a barren place. In a way, that's a hallmark of your success. But still, I, I like seeing this ranch here. meant to do, but it's fine. Do I have enough plant material yet? Yep. Okay, if I can get some hide, I'll actually be able to level my backpack further. So let's try hunting for some, for some deer. It might not be necessary. If I go up here, I, sh I can... If I go in this region, I can actually just get some hide from some monsters. level up my machete, I guess, but I'm not sure I really need to. The machete is not that useful.
Ta. Field is infested with X humans. It's time to turn them into fertilizer. Kill six X humans in 75 seconds. Target that one. I can throw knives at him. Nature will take care of this problem now. Haymaker. Okay, so this is a wishing well. These are actually pretty cool. Uh, you have to get things out of your storage and drop them into the wishing well. Used to be you could not get stuff out of your storage and that was kind of obnoxious. It's not guaranteed you'll get good stuff out of it, but you can pick rare things. So I need two fabric and one ceramic. So let's try it. Let's try that. I've never actually gotten stuff out of my storage before. Um, how do you do that? Probably in the camp. Inventory? No. Collection? I, I, I'm not quite sure how to get stuff out of my inventory. Let's try checking the system. See anything? Hmm. I thought it said. Hold on. Let me click save and exit. We can take a look at the change log. Now this is the pre-beta version, so it may not actually be in this. But let's see here. Edit option to take materials out from storage box. So normally it'd say not yet or something, and this is just intended, but that's what they say right here. So how, how do I... how do I do that? Okay, well... Alright. Yeah, I'm not carrying them, so I have to... Alright. Crafting benches, of course, allow you to craft without having to use a campfire. So it can be good if you don't want to respawn all the zombies or whatever. Let's see, I guess we can head to Junction Station. Now what I really need is some hide. So I need to find some deer and, and, and manage to take them down. Now when I got out of the town, I think I was like throwing grenades at the deer, so... So that was how I was hunting them. Cool, there's uh, uh, an indicator that tells you basically how long you have until it blows up. So I really like that. Ethelridge. So 
Well, now that I've built a compass, I can just fast travel, for example, to Capernaum, where, where you start the game. There's not actually a whole lot I need. I guess I just really wanted to show off fast travel. Need iron and rubber, so I guess I could just start. I guess I could just farm these two special infected for a while. Feel older and wiser. Get melee damage or throwing damage. Th throwing is good for chasing deer. Guess we'll just pick this one for now. Can't do this until I get hide. Plenty of iron, obviously, but iron's a lot easier to get than rubber. Right now, I obviously, uh, right now it looks like I have an excess of rubber, and that's true. At this very moment, I do, but I, you need so much rubber to upgrade your stuff. 